watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse. And today we are doing a small mud room entryway makeover. I'm not really sure what to call it. It's kind of more of a hallway, but a mud room area that we use when we come in the garage yeah. door. Yeah. But we are going to be making this space over to make it more functional because right now it's confined. It's not very functional and I really just need somewhere to hang things. Don't mind the children in the background. If you're not new here, you know this isn't real life. I always bring the real life. I can't help it. My kids are loud. <laughs> so they'll probably be talking throughout this video. But I really wanted to do this more vlog style because I want to explain more of what I'm doing, how I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. And sometimes I'm not allotted that time when I do a voiceover because it's moving too fast. So I figured this time I would do a vlog style one so with that being said we are going to hop in i'm going to show you the space and show you what we're going to be working on okay this is the space we'll be working in and this is our guest room this is the downstairs bathroom so it is a functional space but we use it mostly for obviously the bathroom and then this is the garage door where we come into i have this closet which is for mainly like storing things but there's not really like there's hooks right there but it kind of gets in the way i can't get like to the back a lot of like backpacks and stuff get thrown on the floor because there's nowhere to really hang them so that's really what i need is a space to hang like everyday jackets backpacks easy access purses you know keys even maybe something like that so we're gonna do a board and bat in with some hooks and decorate and everything this bench unfortunately has to go because this is just such a narrow hallway it just it confines this space so much and we just really don't like that so and I think I'm the only person who uses the bench the kids sit on the floor Chris is too tall for this area so it's just gonna go ideally I would love to have like a bench some baskets underneath for like everyday shoes but we have this in here which fits all of our shoes so I really don't even though there's some on the floor but I really don't have the need for somewhere to store shoes because we have that. So with that being said, that is the plan. We're going to start off on the wall. We're going to clear this space, obviously, but start off on the wall and find studs because I need to know where I'm nailing them into the wall. And you always want to nail them to studs, obviously, for security reasons to make sure it's in the wall. Okay, now that I have all of the studs marked out, I have to measure out where I'm gonna put the boards. I'm gonna have one on each end and then I'm going to have three in the middle. So I have to figure out spacing wise, all that stuff to be able to figure out how to hit a stud with all of them. Um, especially with the ones that are gonna have hooks on it. Like the top one is gonna have hooks on it that has to be on a stud so it can securely hold things. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to just figure out what the spacing will be to, for the boards to see where exactly they need to be placed. So that's what we're going to work on now.
Okay, I've got all the studs lined up on the wall. They are not appropriately measured apart to be able to effectively do all of the um, boards up and down on a stud. So we're gonna come up with another solution to make sure it's secured. But for now, I'm gonna work on getting the top board on and the bottom board on, and then we will go from there. Okay, we got the bottom, this one, and the top on, but the rest of them, we don't have studs to put them in, so we're coming up with a plan to secure them without having to use studs. And once we get that done, I will explain it more how we did it. But the top one's in studs. This one we were able to do in studs. And the bottom one, obviously, we were able to do using the studs as well. So now we just have to put, we're doing three in there, I believe. Two or three. We're doing a few in there. <laughs> and then we will come up with a plan for... Uh, how we will get them into the wall. Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Okay, we're all done getting all of the boards secured on the wall. We used some anchors and some screws for the ones that don't have a stud, but everything's in the wall, ready to go. But I have to do some wood filler and some caulking. I don't know if I'll do the caulking tonight or leave that for tomorrow and then paint, but I'm gonna try and get the wood filler done tonight before I go to bed, but there's some big holes in the boards from the screws so 
I have a bunch of wood filler that I have to do. So we're gonna work on that next. Okay, now we are, as you can tell, on the next day. All of the wood filler is dry, so I'm gonna start sanding that. I'm gonna sand the wood filler and the boards because the boards were not, they were still kind of rough, but I could have sanded them before, which is what I've done in previous projects, but I felt like I'm gonna have to sand the boards with the wood filler. I might as well just do it all at once, smooth it out. So that's what we're gonna do. Right now, we're gonna sand that really quick. Uh, and then we'll work on caulking and painting. I'm hoping to get all of that done today. And then tomorrow, it'll just be decorating, which is like the funnest part, right? So I'm gonna show you the wood filler really quick just to show you how it dried. Okay, so these like spots here, that's wood filler. And when you do the wood filler, you wanna make sure it kind of comes out because you're gonna sand it flat, right? So you want something to sand off. Whereas if it's already flat, you're gonna sand off the flat part and then you're gonna see the hole again. But I just put the wood filler in all the spots where there were screws and nails. So we're just gonna go ahead and sand all of those spots down and the boards now. By the way, this is what I'll be using. It is a sanding block, it's 220 grit. I like using these, just easy to hold in hand. Um, but this is what we'll be using. The 220 is basically just to smooth it out and sand it down. Uh, you wanna go with a lower grit if you really want to like take some wood off, but we're just trying to sand it down and smooth it out. So this should work. But not as much as this Okay, I just wanted to show you some things really quick. So I flattened those out, right? The board is all smooth, but there are a few like indentations. Uh, that one you can kind of see, right? Some right there, this really big one right here and a few right here. Don't mind my, my nails. I'm not gonna do them because I'm doing this, but I'm gonna go ahead with a stronger grit, probably going with maybe an 80 grit or a little bit higher just to flatten that out and get that imperfection out because you will see it when I paint. So if you have things like that, also always go with the grain when you're sanding. And I'm painting so it won't be as bad. You know, some of these blemishes won't be as obvious. If you were staining, you would definitely want to get them out.
<laughs> okay, now I'm done doing that. There's a huge mess from drilling the holes, sanding, and all of that. So we need to wipe down all of this stuff. As you can tell, it's pretty flat now, but we need to wipe down all of this stuff. Get all like the dust and everything off of it so we can do the caulking. And once the caulk dries, which takes like 15 minutes, we can start painting. Keep on Okay, we've got all of the caulking done. I didn't show all of it just because it's really repetitive and it would get really boring. You got the gist of it. So all of that is done. It's all dry and ready to be painted. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the paint and get started on that. I'm gonna clean up this area first though because it's hard to walk through here. I've got so much junk over here that's not even really needed anymore. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to painting this. We are painting it white. The reason why I'm painting it white is, I mean, I do like the color white, don't get me wrong, but the reason why I'm painting it right, white, even though like usually I go with a darker, like more moody color is because this hallway is so small. It's just such a tiny space. It's not very wide as you can see. So I don't want to paint it a dark color because it's going to confine the space more and make it feel smaller. I would love to go with like a dark, like black or like peppercorn or something. I would really love to do that, but I, I'm too scared to do that. I'm too scared it's gonna make the space feel claustrophobic. White is bright and airy. It's gonna make it feel more open. So I'm gonna go with white. And if I decide yeah. one day down the line that I wanna go dark and try it out, then that's what I'll do. But for now, we're gonna go with white. So I already had some white paint. So I already had, honestly, let me say this before I even move forward. I already had a lot of this stuff. The only things that I really needed to buy, I needed to buy these boards. I already had the top board and already had the bottom board. So I didn't have to buy those. Uh, I already had white paint. I already had um, caulking. I already had, what else did I even use? I had to buy the hook. I did buy, I always buy a new paintbrush every time I paint um, and a new roller, but 
most of the stuff I already had. So I spent very minimal money on this. I don't know. I'll have to take a look, but if I had to guess, I spent somewhere around $30 for all the supplies to do this project because like I said, I already had a lot of the stuff. So if you're a DIYer or you do anything like that, eventually you will accumulate things over time and it'll make it so much easier for you to be able to just kind of throw things together. Uh, I'm actually having fun digging through like my piles of wood and all of that, looking through my paints and stuff and using what I already have not only because I don't wanna waste it, but also because I don't wanna spend the money on it. So it works out great. I'm gonna be doing even more projects with stuff I already have. So stay tuned for those videos if you like this content, which if you're sticking around, you're already here for this long, I'm sure you do. So let's get to painting. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swinging down and Never 
everybody's business Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size Not enough room for everybody's egos Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out for a minute Okay, on to another day and I got all of the painting done. I did two coats. I just showed the first coat cause it gets repetitive and boring. So you get the gist on how to paint. I think most of us do know how to paint. So I got the second coat done. It looks great. I'm really, really happy about how it turned out. I think it might be a little too high because I have a really big sign to go up here. But I also feel like if it was any lower, it would look too short. I don't know, either way. It's done now, so that's how it's gonna stay. But today we are going to add the hooks and put the sign up and call it a day. I am so excited to be so close to being done with this project because it just needs to be a functional space. And right now it's not, like we don't have a bench, we don't have hooks. I will eventually in the future be building a bench. I actually went on Amazon last night and found the perfect legs. I just need to go buy like a slab of wood now and stain it and, but I will share all that maybe in a separate video or maybe in a vlog or something. I'm not sure it'll be quite long enough to do in a video, uh, but it'll just be like a little petite long bench just to quickly sit on and toss your shoes, you know, on your feet. But that'll be in the future. <laughs> so right now I just at least wanna get this done, get the hooks on so we can start hanging jackets and backpacks and sweatshirts and purses and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be almost done with this project. And let's go ahead and hang those hooks. Okay, everyone, here it is, all finished. I'm so happy with how this turned out. All of the hooks, I just love the style of the hooks, the durability, oh, I just love it all. And if I can link any of this stuff down below, I will link it. I can definitely link the hooks, the sign I found at Home Goods. If I can find it online, I'll link it, but I'm not sure that I will be able to, but this is it. So you have 
This is the rug we have. This is where we'll keep the shoes, where you come in from the garage. And then you can hang your jacket, hang your backpack. I'm gonna build a bench for this area, which that'll be in a video coming up soon. Maybe get some baskets. I also have always had this sign over here. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. Just says welcome home so that when you come through the door, you know, that's what you see. But yeah, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love it so much. It just looks so good and is so usable. Functioning spaces are so important to me. All right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video today and for hanging out with me and watching me do this DIY. I hope you learned something from it or got some inspiration. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And stay tuned for more refreshes, makeovers, DIYs, all of it. I have so many things that I want to do and I'm starting to get into like a roll on a roll, getting it done. So I have the bench next, which I will do a video on. And then I also am going to do a refresh in my bedroom and redecorate everything. So stay tuned for those videos. If you like that type of content though, you will love my channel. So stick around for that. And thank you guys so much for all of your love support. I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete